Hey guys, I'm down at the river trying to do some cat fishing. So I'm down here. Uh, today's June 5. Um, it's the middle of the day, exactly the wrong time to be doing some cat fishing. I got bugs flying all over um, the river. I don't know if you can see, but it's kind of at a higher level than it normally is. And so I'd like to be on my kayak, um, but it just, with the river up like it is, it just makes it kind of challenging to be in the kayak. So I've climbed through the trees, got found myself a little spot here on the bank that hopefully I can sit at uh, comfortably, somewhat comfortably anyway, um, and do some catfishing. So I tried to get bait earlier and I, I went to one spot hoping to get uh, myself a bunch of little green sunfish real quick so I'd get down here and get to fishing um, and it just did not work out that way. Uh, tell you what sometimes I, I feel like the most challenging part of catfishing is just getting bait um, so it didn't work out there at the first spot I got just one bullhead um, that I may use as cut bait here in Kansas the only bait fish you're allowed to keep uh, you transport and fish alive uh, uses live bait are bluegill and green sunfish so anyway after that first spot I went to a second location and got myself a few um, blue, well, three bluegill, I think, and, and one green sunfish. Uh, got them here in the bucket. A um, couple of them uh, look like are not doing too well at this point um, since it had some camera challenges and other issues that uh, got me down here to the river a couple hours later than I, I thought I was going to get down here. But anyway, uh, such is the way it goes. So we're down here now. Uh, we're going to get some baits. On the hooks, I, I've got one bigger catfish rod um, that I'm going to stick a live bait on, I think, and then I'll stick a cut bait on the other rod, and we'll see what we can get. So I'll get to it. All right, so I'm gonna, my first bait here is that green sunfish head. Um, just gonna take it and thread that hook underneath the gill plate. We can get her in there. Maybe. And then uh, just work, find one of them nostrils and just work it out of nostril like that. That'll keep that bait on that hook pretty solid. We'll get that cast out. And I just got that on a, I don't know if you can see that on a Carolina rig, three ounce lead. So we'll get that cast out and we'll be fishing. All right, and there's that bait there. There's that big, big bluegill. Just thread the hook. There's back there. Get those scales off the hook so we don't lose fish. That's on my bigger rod. Okay, guys, now we're now we're fishing. Uh, got the baits cast out. Um, like I said, river conditions are not ideal, um, but I just want to get down here and do some fishing. When the, when the current is this strong, when the water is up like this, your baits just get swept up up against the bank. They don't sit out there where you cast them in a channel. I'm hoping that that will be okay um, when that current moves that bait, swings it to the side. It should just pull that bait up against the edge of the river channel. Um, and that's where those fish are cruising anyway. So. Assuming that that's what happens and my bait should be there waiting when a fish comes along and tries to take one um, But yeah, I guess we're just gonna wait and, and See what happens and it may just be a mess. I may just get a bunch of snags and you you guys may end up never seeing this video But we'll give it a minute anyway, and we'll give our best effort and see if we can't catch some I got what feels like a pretty good fish on here. And I'm concerned he's pulling drag. That he's gonna get me up in all these weeds and there's no getting control of this guy. <clears throat> Holy cow. Holy cow. Holy cow. Calm down. Calm down. Calm down. Oh my goodness, guys. This feels like a good fish. I don't know. I don't know. I gotta get some of this 
Slack's reeled up. Oh man. He's got me clear of that guy. He's gonna he's gonna get me in in a mess out there. Guys, if I get if I get this fish in, it's gonna be a miracle. An absolute miracle. Holy cow, this feels like a big fish. He's just hauling down river. Okay, make up a little bit of ground on there, maybe. Stay out of that stuff, man. I think he came up in all these sticks and snags and stuff. Man, yeah, I think he's all tangled up down there. This is a big fish. If I get this fish in, it's a miracle. Feels like he's all hung in a snag down there. And of course, this is on the lighter tackle. Yeah, he's hung on something. for me. Yeah, I'm gonna go try and get after him. Okay, I don't know if you guys can see me yet. <laughs> Almost back in frame. No, I thought he'd come out of it, but maybe I just got him dragged him into something else down there. Okay. Okay. You guys can, can see me now, maybe. I think he came out of the snag. Feels like a pretty good fish. I could feel my line rubbing on the tree branches down there under the surface. He's all tangled up in it. Fortunately, he came out of it. Still haven't got to look at him. But it feels like a pretty big fish. And of course, this is what you get when you fish with a lighter tackle on the river. As I said earlier, I was not ready or prepared for fishing today. I, I actually came. I was planning on working on the farm today, and then just ended up not working out. He's peeling and drag again. He's not done yet. Ended up just not working out, working on the farm today. So I was like, well, guess I'll go fishing. So here I am, and we got a big fish on line, guys. I cannot wait to get a look at this fish. I really hope that line holds up to, to the stress. Let's see if we can back this drag off maybe a little bit. That feels like a good fish. If I can feel my line rubbing up against those tree branches. And man when that happens you got a good fish on you just your heart sinks. You're like there's no way I'm getting this fish and you just get ready to accept the worst because that fish you're never gonna see that fish. But hopefully we'll get a chance here to take a look at this fish because it feels like a pretty good fish. Of course, like I said, I'm fishing on a lighter tackle, but I mean, this isn't super light tackle. I'm, I like to use this rod every once in a while for channel cats, and that's why I had the cut bait on this rod. It was a smaller piece of cut bait, and I was hoping I'd get a channel cat, and who knows, maybe this is a channel cat. Um, but it's my my worm, my jigging rod um, for bass fishing, but it's a, a heavy action fishing rod, and they, they work really well for smaller channel cats, but... I mean, again, you just never know what you're going to catch, which is why I love fishing. You never know what you can get on the end of your line. Like this right here, I wasn't expecting to catch a fish. It felt this good. And, of course, when the when the river's up like this, you got heavier current. Every fish feels 10, 15 pounds bigger than what they really are. So, who knows? I mean, once we get... I still haven't got a look at this fish. Once we get a look at him, we'll know how big he is. But I think it's a good fish. Here he comes, coming up. Yeah, that's a flathead there. That, that's a good flathead. Not a huge flathead, but like I said, on this light tackle and in, in the current that we've got out here today, it makes it feel like a real big fish, guys. We're really fortunate to get this fish in. Well, if we get it in, he's making another run right now. 
I hope he's hooked, but I can't see, can't see how well he's, <coughs> he's got that hook. Oh yeah, oh yeah, come here, buddy. That's a good looking fish. Man, I've been wanting to get out here and do some fishing for a long time. I just haven't had the opportunity. But I'm hoping to be able to do a little more often and put these videos out a little more frequently for you guys. This looks like a good fish here. Come here. Let's see if we can... Let's see if we can uh, get a hand on him soon. Don't know how I'm going to get down there. It's so muddy. Running down this bank trying to get to him. Get him out of that tangle. I got my, my boots. Don't have... <coughs> have the right boots on just not prepared for today but we're gonna make it work anyway we're gonna make it happen get down here and catch a good catch us a good good flathead he's gonna make another run <coughs> i'm here buddy about got him about got you Yes, 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 look at that beast, look at that beast, holy cow, guys that's a good fish, that is a good fish, man I wish he, wish I was better set up, better prepared for this so I could have had the, the whole fight there, I'll probably just have to edit that part out where I was chasing him down the bank and not saying anything you guys couldn't see me that is a good fish buddy hope you guys can i don't know if that camera angles right or not man that's a good fish Let's see if i can get my hands on that can't well yeah let's see if i can camera my hands here i hope it's on look at that fish Look at his mouth, man. These things are just beasts. Camera back there. Get him unhooked. Man, I, I got adrenaline flowing. Camera angle is not, not the best, but hopefully you guys can see. Try to get this hook out of his mouth. Like I said, I'm ill prepared for today, so I don't have my pliers. And he's not even—he's not hooked very good either. Come here. There we go. Oh my goodness, that is a good fish. Get this camera to sit right so I can get some good, good photos with it. Work there. Look at that. Look at that thing. I gotta get a better hold on that thing. Oh, yeah, buddy. Look at that fish. As I'm stepping in my hooking myself on my fishing pole. I hope you guys can see that. That is. That's a good fish. Been looking for that. Waiting for that fish for a while. All right. Let's make sure my camera's on. Make sure I got some photos. One last look at him. Before we let him go. That's a good fish. Oh man, that's a good fish. Should have that camera down here getting a release shot. Well, next time you'll have to forgive me. Oh, he's ready to go. There he goes. There, yep, there he goes. One last splash on the way out. Yes. 
I'm all kinds of muddy and messy, but it is worth it. Let's get another bait on there and do it again. Guys, this line where he was, I told you he had me. Man, I'm worn out. Can't catch my breath. Like I said, he was pulling me through some weeds, some brush down there. And so this line, I can feel all the way up here. It's kind of, um, and it's got some nicks and dings. And it's what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to cut that line off and get a word in. Uh, start over with a new rig. So we'll get you working on that. Guys, I've got that body piece still. Um, that that fish took the head piece from that green sunfish. I've got that body piece still, but I think what I'm going to do, since I have an abundance of bait, my trip out here, let's see, been just about an hour before that fish, well, 40 minutes before that fish hit, but I've probably only got about 50-ish minutes left out here to fish. So I have an abundance of bait, so I think what I'll do is I'll take a, a head piece off one of these bluegills and throw that out there and see what that'll do for us. <clears throat> well guys, that fish right there just goes to show you that uh, <clears throat> you gotta get out here and get fishing. Um, be honest, I wouldn't, today I wasn't really expecting a whole lot. Honestly, I wasn't even expecting to catch anything. Um, not because I don't have confidence in my setup or in my location um, or because I feel like I don't know what I'm doing, but just for the pure fact of that I'm fishing in the middle of the afternoon, or literally worst time of the day to fish, just because that's the time that I had to fish. I don't have time to fish this evening. I couldn't go this morning. This is the block that I had to fish. And it's just the worst, worst, it happened to be the worst part of the day uh, to be out here on the water. Um, so time of day, and then the fact that the, the river level is so high compared to what it usually is, and that the current is so strong, my baits are getting swept up onto the, the side of the bank here and they're catching all these weeds and twigs and stuff and just get becoming kind of a tangled mess down there and so I just really was not super confident in uh, what was going on out here today um, but <clears throat> uh, the alternative is sitting at home on my butt on the couch watching Netflix and not going to catch any fish watching TV so um, you want to catch big fish like that guys you just got to get out here and just put the time in that's the biggest thing it's not your tackle it's not your rig it's the time it's not the bait which speaking of i know a lot of y'all are gonna see that and say well that's weird that flathead hit on the cut bait not on the the live bait i had a live bait right over here right next to it um but it took the cut bait and guys that's really not uncommon um i do fish live baits and i have a lot of success catching large flatheads like that on live baits but i catch them on cut baits as well so Vary up your baits, and then just get out here and spend time out here fishing, and uh, that's how you're going to catch fish. You're not going to catch fish by spending a bunch of time thinking about how you're going to go fishing. you got to get out there and actually fish. Put the time in, and some days going to be crap. Some days you're going to get carried off by mosquitoes and maybe get malaria. <laughs> I hope not, but man, the bugs are bad out here today. But you just got to put the time in and get out here, and I think I'm getting another bite here maybe. <clears throat> Let's watch that rod tip go down. Let's watch it go down. Yep, there's another fish. See guys, you just you just gotta get out here and you just gotta put time in it. Man, that feels like another good fish and he's gonna get me wrapped up again in that mess over there. Gosh. Stay out of that stuff. He's gonna get up in that same mess that other fish got in. Man guys, that's what I'm saying. You just gotta get out here and get fishing. That's on that cut bait again too. Put another headpiece out there because I have an abundance of bait. I like the head pieces on these bluegill uh, green sunfish. I just cut them in half. Uh, so I use the head piece and I use the middle, the middle section. I just cut the tail off. Um, yeah, this one's not going to be as big. Uh, but it's a decent fish anyway. They all feel like decent fish. When you're down here, you're pulling against the strong current. You're using lighter tackle. They all feel like good fish. That's why I love catfishing. Man, it's so much fun. But, yeah, you just got to get out here and put the time in, guys. Let's see what we got here. It's probably going to be a champ cat, if I had to guess. The way he kind of feels like he's rolling down there. and Not fighting as hard as that other one is. Definitely not as not as big as that last one was. But, let's see if we can get a look at him. Nope, not quite. Not quite ready to let us get a look at him. Let's see what we got. Guys, that's another flathead. It's a smaller flathead, that's another flathead. 
<clears throat> on that headpiece. <coughs> yeah, I, like I was saying, I, I just cut the bluegill green sunfish in half, and that that's primarily what I use just because, like I said earlier in the video, bluegill and green sunfish are what's legal in Kansas to use as live bait, to transport and to use as live bait. Um, and I, on my cut bait, I like my cut bait to be fresh, and there's no way to get it any fresher than to just try and keep it alive as long as you can and just cut it on site. So that's what I do, and as he gets in my other line there, that's okay though. That's worth it. I have a tangled mess in that other line. Let's see if we can get him out of it. Nope. That's alright though. We can, we can deal with a messed up line. It means we're catching good fish like this. Let's see when you get them up here and land. This one's a lot smaller, but it's still, it's still a lot of fun. Still a lot of fun. Man, they fight hard. They're hard to find fish. He's still green. He's, yeah, he ain't ready. He's not ready. He's playing out a little bit. down here, sinking into the mud. <clears throat> Come here. Not big, but still a nice fish. All these flatheads are hard fighting. Fun fish to catch. Where's that hook? Yeah, man. I don't know if you can even see me down here, but there's that one. Not a bad fish. Man, this fun. I love fishing. <clears throat> well, let's put him back. Let's see if we can get a release shot on this one. That last one. I didn't, didn't get a release shot, but we'll see if I can avoid dropping my camera in the river. Let's see if we can get a, a release shot on this one for you. There he goes. All right. Let's see if we can do it again. That only took like five minutes. So let's get another bait out there, see if we can catch another one before we have to go. Well guys, I got my bait back out. I reeled that other rod in that had the uh, live bait on it and stuck another headpiece on, or just took the bait that was on there and cut it in half, put the headpiece on. That's what they want, that's what we're gonna feed to them. So I'm probably only gonna fish for about another 30 minutes, but we'll sit here and, uh, thought I saw some action on that one. But anyway, we'll sit here and we'll, we'll see what happens. Well guys, that was the end of that trip. My camera died on me while I was out filming the closing. Uh, so we'll have to figure something better out with the whole camera situation. Um, but I didn't get any more fish on that trip. So the quantity of fish wasn't really there. It was a shorter trip. Um, I think I would have got more fish if I had been planning on staying out longer. But you know, that, that, that was just the time window, the time frame that I had. So you make do with what you got. And fortunately, the quality of fish was there. The fish I did get were pretty good quality. So I'll take that any day quality over quantity. So anyway, that's the end of this one and uh, appreciate you guys watching and we'll see you in the next one.